Thank you for turning on the lights, otherwise you uh, wouldn't be able to see me <laughs> with a dark suit and uh, of course I've got some grey here. Uh, chairperson of the uh, African Union Commission, Dr. Kosazana Zuma, and in absentia, the President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. JZ. Am I allowed to say that? JZ Zuma. Um, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, forgive me for being brief in my salutations. It's not because of time. Uh, but it's because it's, uh, I would like to leave out names of potential sponsors <laughs> who would say that uh, Mukobe, I was not acknowledged at your <laughs> dinner and therefore I'm not going to support to Sanani. I'm reminded of <clears throat> a function we had at this many years ago. Uh, and a guest who I didn't know was there, uh, a prince from West Africa, Nohan, um, stormed out in anger because I had not acknowledged that he was there. And I spent half the evening groveling, which is what vice chancellors do, uh, and, and apologizing for, for my oversight. This evening is not about uh, Mukobe. It's about this wonderful project, uh, Tusanani. Uh, foundation. But let me make a few comments which have already been made about this remarkable young man uh, from a village in Venda. Former president of the SRC at a small university in Bramfontein called the University of the Witwatersrand. <laughs> it, it has not shrunk because I've left. Sorry, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there, there, there are lots of things that uh, Mukobe has learned at VITS. So one of them is to pick up a, a telephone, I mean a cell phone. And, and, and he called me and asked me, Professor Loiso, are you coming to, my, to, my, to, to the fundraising dinner? And I said, well, I'm not sure because as a retired person, pensioner, I'm not sure if I'll be, uh, I'll be asked to sign a check even for... 50 rands. He said, oh, go, come along, and, and it's okay. You are, not, you are not expected to contribute anything. <laughs> <laughs> Tusanani was founded in 2010. And I guess some of these things will be repeated uh, throughout the evening. But for me, it's, it's the lessons that one can draw from this wonderful event. Mungobe shares with us his ex personal experiences, and this has already been highlighted in the introductory remarks, that his studies at universities, at university, were supported by the South African taxpayer through the South African government. And he felt an obligation to give back, to do the same for people like him for people like myself, for people like many of us coming from humble beginnings, not having opportunities to realize their true potential. I will assume that part of his dream in terms of sharing information with people coming from um, humble beginnings is a comment we used to make that Information about opportunities, whether it's funding, whether it's what one can apply for, would possibly appear in the Sunday Times, in the Mail and Guardian, in the City Press. And I would tell them that in my village in the Eastern Cape, which is not cool, no? <laughs> people have never seen touch the Sunday Times, the Mail and Guardian. So there is a mismatch between the opportunities that are there and the need that is in this country. So how it all started is that a group of them would take forms from VITS, application forms for admission, for financial aid, and so on, and run Saturday workshops. That's what he used to tell me. And of course, his friends, it's not just about him. From the Eastern Cape, Joe Gabi District, uh, from uh, KwaZulu Natal, share information with students back in their home villages about what they can apply for. And you've already heard that Tusanani funds students 
not only at VITS where they graduated from, but at at least 20 universities across South Africa. And that's one of the things that we emphasize over and over again, that the 26 universities in South Africa belong to all of us. And therefore, when they go out and disseminate information about funding opportunities, which in fact is an investment in the success of this country, is not to encourage them to go to VITS, but to go to universities of their choice. And on behalf of all of us in the higher education sector, we congratulate you for a wonderful, wonderful project. And we hope that... And hope that many young people will learn that it's not just depending on government about opportunities. It's that we have it within our hands to support ourselves. Thank you very much to all of you. It's such a privilege. This is my last comment. For the few people like myself who are retired to be given the privilege of speaking fast. <laughs> Thank you very much. For that.